What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we are in the tower in Destiny 2, and of course it is the day for the 17th of July. I had to check the date right there, but uh, we're here in the tower courtyard, or sorry, hangar, what am I thinking? I'm looking at the courtyard, but Zer is right here in the hangar, up on these platforms, precisely where you can see him this weekend. Uh, in terms of trials for the map this weekend, it is going to be on Pacifica, so if you jump in, good luck grinding for those loots and uh, have fun, of course. But now let's jump in and take a look at Zer in D2 as well as D1 very briefly. All right, bit of a kerfuffled intro, but for the quick look at the inventory, we have the Skyburner's Oath, of course, a vanilla D2 exotic. We also have the Lucky Raspberry for the Hunters, also vanilla exotic, as well as the Peacekeepers for the Titan, another vanilla exotic right there. And then we've got the Vesper of Radius as well, for the Warlocks, of course, this one from Curse of Osiris. But otherwise, we have the Five of Swords and the Invitations of the Nine, if you're still working on them. But then finally, the Exotic Engram that can drop stuff from the World Pool of Exotics, and it does have a knockout system to give you better chances at stuff you don't have until you pretty much have everything. And of course, you do get random stat rolls on armor pieces when you pick them up in the Engrams as well. Right, for a better look at the inventory right here, Skyburner's Oath does come with the Slug Rifle Perk, and the weapon lobs large, explosive seeking slugs when you're firing from the hip. And when you're aiming down sights, the slugs travel fast and straight with higher damage and a lower rate of fire. So it's a pretty interesting weapon. You can kind of hip fire it with this sort of explosive damage that it does. Uh, and then it also comes with full auto and does extra damage to Cabal and penetrates uh, Phalanx Shield. So pretty fun weapon if you've never used it. Of course, many of us have, but uh, good if you are collecting some of the stuff from the vanilla launch of the game. Lucky Raspberry for the uh, Hunters this week come in with a total stat roll of 64, so pretty high right there, uh, primarily with resilience and discipline. You can see the stats on the screen. Of course, the bonus is Probability, ma uh, probability Matrix, sorry, <laughs> increases the chaining capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time that it deals damage, and the full chain always recharges. So actually a pretty good uh, exotic right there for Hunters if you're running Arc Grenades. Uh, arc bolt specifically, of course, but the rate of getting those grenade back, grenades back, sorry, is very, very reliable. So something pretty fun to play around with. But the Peacekeepers, with a total stat roll of 63 this week, primarily with strength and resilience right there, come with Mecha Holster, and it reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly, and then improves your handling with SMGs and your movement while we wielding one. Sorry. Man, what is up with us today? Uh, pretty fun if you want to rock a lot or two SMGs, potentially. Um, yeah, kind of fun thing back in year one, but I haven't used these for a very long time. Actually, I kind of forgot how cool these uh, little markings and things were <laughs> on the side of them. But finally, for the Vespa of Radius, we have a total stat roll of 65. Of course, these can be upgraded, so pretty much uh, maxed out right here, primarily with intellect and recovery. So some pretty decent stats. And we've got Planetary Torrent and Rifts release an Arc Shockwave when cast and then Rift Energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. That second part is probably the more generally uh, reliable part, I suppose. Although the Shockwave is pretty interesting, so it's something to play around with, and that stat roll, of course, is very good. So if you do have this in your collection, potentially pick this one up as a replacement right there. But there we go. That is the Zer uh, inventory inside of D2. And my friend Grandad Gaming has uh, <laughs> turned up in front of us. This is rather a random week indeed. But uh, for Destiny 1, if you are collecting, he does have Insurmountable Skullfort, as well as a Heavy Engram from Year 1. And then we've got the Light Beyond Nemesis, as well as Mask of the Third Man, and finally Jade Rabbit. So if you want to hunt him down, if you're still collecting any things in particular, you can do that. But otherwise, that sums everything up that we need to know for the weekend in D2, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have, a rating down below is very much appreciated. Uh, otherwise, be sure to get subscribed if you want to be kept up to date with hopefully coherent Destiny content. But for now, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend.